I have a Lumia 920 that I want to hack to install the latest Redstone 1 build, which appears to be possible if you interop unlock it and you hack your registry so that it will think that it's a Lumia 950. But to do that, I need to install the dependencies for uh, both interop tools and the uh, DHT upgrade advisor. So I have all those in a directory called Downloads Arm, and I'm going to do that now. Okay, so um, now the dependencies are on the Lumia 920, now it's time to put the actual applications. Um, and so to do that, I'm going to use mpp send file to send the uh, Apex bundles um, for DHD upgrade advisor and for um, interop tools. And I'm going to do this in one command line because this program takes a little bit longer to work than is reasonable. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure at Windows Insider what that FX bundle is. I'm guessing I downloaded that a long time ago. And uh, MTP send file is what I'm using on Mac OS and I installed it through Homebrew. Um, if you have a Windows device or otherwise can uh, access this the normal GUI file system way, that's probably better. Um, MTP send file is not the most performant piece of software on the planet as we're seeing here, um, but uh, it works, so good enough for me. Okay, files are on the device. Uh, I went ahead and unplugged the device, and now I'm going to go over to my camera and uh, we can take a look at what uh, steps we need to go through to install interop tools and the uh, DHD upgrade device and all these dependencies. This is a Nokia Lumia 920. Uh, this didn't officially get uh, Windows 10, uh, but you can install it through the Insider program, or at least you could a while back. So. I want to get Redstone 1 on here. My kernel has threshold 2, uh, th2, whatever. Build 10586.545, and you see it's under the time as a Nokia Lumia 920. Um, I flashed this as a developer device a long time ago. So, so we've already copied the stuff from the computer to the device. So the first thing we're going to do is install all these dependencies. Um, so we don't want to install um, DHD Upgrade Advisor Interop Tools app yet. We're going to get there. So we're going to tap on that. Would you like to install Microsoft.NET Core Runtime? I'm sure would. .NET Native Framework. .NET Native Runtime. PC Lib Universal. PC Libs Arm. PC libs arm debug. We can give it a little bit. Install interrupt tools. Um, interrupt tools basically gives us the equivalent of root uh, from Android on um, Windows. Um, that's installed or installing the new want the HD upgrade advisor, which I installed. She also mentioned that uh, if you haven't already configured a device for developer mode, you need to have already done that before you started doing what I was doing. So that's an update security for developers. If you want to hit developer mode. Okay. So we're going to go over here and uh, you see we have DHD upgrade advisor and interrupt tool both of them are installed. Um, it may take a little while before these applications show up, so just be patient. Um, there's not like a notification that tells you that they've installed. The first thing is when you go to interrupt tools, uh, which I've never used, so this will be the first time that I've ever launched it. You want to go to this device. This is interrupt tools. Um, you open up the hamburger thing, and you scroll down, and there's interrop unlock. There's tweaks, default apps, applications, there's a bunch of stuff. It may not be obvious that this scrolls, but it actually does. So we go to interrupt unlock. Because it's a 920, we need to go to Restore NDTK Service. 
So I'm going to go ahead and restart my device. Device is back up. So now we go back over the inner Apple Mod tools, or inner Apple tools. And we connect to this device. Go back over the inner Apple Mod. That's flipped, so good. Now we turn on the inner Apple Mod. It should stay on, and it did. So now we're in our Apple Mod. We're going to go back over to DHT Upgrade Advisor. We're going to back it up by toggling that switch to on. And we're a single SIM device, and I'm going to hit Allow Update. Which seems like it did nothing, but we'll see. We'll go over to Settings. I'm going to go to System. I'm going to go About. You should see a Microsoft MVG Lumia 950 XL. Wonderful. So now I should be able to go over to Phone Update. And where it previously said, you know, two minutes ago that there was no updates. It should find updates now and it should upgrade me to the um, anniversary update. It's now trying to install 14393.594, which is Redstone 1. Um, seems look it might work, maybe? Well, we're going to go and let this run and uh, let it install Redstone 1 and hopefully it doesn't break the device. Okay, so it's some time later. Um, the update that seems to have finished. Um, Skype is now where settings used to be, so that's not quite how I left it. Uh, if we go to settings. This is my first time on the device, so I literally don't know if this was successful or not. System. About. This looks right, because there's icons. More info. 14393.594. Um, I'll be damned. I did not expect that to work. You can go to the store, because um, they also update stuff in the store. Finally, we need to go back and put our old settings back, or we're going to have a bad time. And I think you probably have to do this every upgrade. Um, so that's my old data. I'm going to go ahead and hit restore backup. And I'm going to go back to settings and verify that it did indeed switch it back. Um, I don't know what the repercussions are of leaving it thinking that it's an Amy 950 XL, but I can't imagine they're good. And yeah, back to Nokia Lumia 920, developer device, and this 10 mobile, again, build 10.0.14393.594, because this is actually running um, Redstone 1, finally. Uh, which is an operating system that it evidently is not supposed to run. Um, and it seems to be running it pretty damn well, if you ask me. So these are all the updates you would normally get through software upgrade. I'm going to hit update all. Okay, so uh, as you can see, the, there's stuff that's updating uh, from the store, and these are stuff that you know would have come out with this uh, one when it came out. Um, these are obviously the latest versions. One, whatever Redstone one shipped with is uh, what got installed, but this is actually you know the updated stuff. Um, I'm curious how some of these apps might be assuming. Um, hardware exists that doesn't because, you know, again, this is supposed to be running on this device, but um, that's to be seen. That was uh, installing Redstone 1 on a Lumia 920 uh, device that should not support uh, Redstone 1. Um, it technically doesn't support Windows 10 at all, um, and it seems to be running just fine. Probably the next thing to do would be to install the cabs on here that make continuum work and see if I can uh, project my screen with uh, any level of performance to a Miracast display. Unfortunately, I don't think that there's any way to make uh, the hardware output via cable, uh, or I would make it go to the dock that I built. Um, but I can make it go to a uh, Windows uh, device uh, screen, so hopefully um, that'd be an interesting thing to do and see if it's possible with this uh, Lumi 920. So I guess that's it, and uh, thanks for watching.